Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Scentsy Club haul for you and then also a fun giveaway announcement at the end. So you will see that my Scentsy Club is very, very minimal at this point. Um, it used to be not that way, um, but I really weeded it down, honestly, um, just to the bare essentials, my absolute favorites, um, must-haves, um, which include three cents at this point. And then what I'll do is I'll typically include maybe, you know, a handful of options that I want to try that are new to me, just kind of to make it, make it worthwhile, right? Um, and then, you know, once I try them, if I don't like them, then I, you know, they get the ax, basically. Um, so just let me show you um, the reason why I have the club, and you will understand why. Um, so the first scent, and I get three of each of these. Um, so the first one is apple butter frosting. Love it. Um, amazing. And like I said, I'm not, you know, I'm not going through the wax as quickly as I once, you know, was because of my own shop. But I just absolutely love this one and, and was heartbroken when they took it away, but glad that I had it in my club. Um, so I get three of those. And so... Um, really love that one. And then the next one is right here. Almond croissant. Who would have guessed, right? Um, again, just another absolute bakery favorite from Scentsy. Um, you know, I, I generally like almond scents, but I just love the almond with the buttery croissant scent. You know, just an absolute favorite. I think this, this one was actually the reason um, that I started the club. And I think I mentioned this in another video. I actually like mixing these two together. Um, makes for an interesting scent. And, you know, I just love apple bakery, love the almond croissant, and it goes really well together. So it's sort of a fun mix. And then the third staple, um, is vanilla waves. You guys, I didn't, I remember when I first got this, I wasn't sure about it, but then I just grow to really love it. It's, I mean, I don't have all the scent notes here. You scentsy experts will know. It's what, like a vanilla, caramely, but not caramely like to the extent where you don't like caramel. It's like, ooh, I, you know, it's just too buttery toffee. It's just so nice. And I wish I could remember. And if I can find it, I'll post it below. But I know at the holiday time, I bought that, um, that, that duo set from Nest. Now, I don't buy Nest candles a, a lot because, you know, they are pretty pricey. But at the holidays, they'll, you know, have some sales going on. And I like to buy that duo. It, it's what, the one is holiday and the other one is that pine one. Um, I can't remember the official, the official names, but I think the one is called holiday. And it's like, what, like a wintry cranberry scent and then that pine one. Um, but anyway, so I ordered that duo at the holidays and then they gave like a little miniature like kind of votive size candle as a bonus and when I smelled that candle it automatically made me think of vanilla waves but the name of the of the candle it just didn't make me think that it would smell that way but it was the first thing that um that I thought of when I smelled it was um the vanilla waves um scentsy brick so or scentsy <laughs> scentsy clam um so anyway, if I if I can find that little candle, because I haven't burned it yet, um, I know I have it in my stash somewhere, um, I'll put it in the description because I it really did. It really, now again, do you want to spend that kind of money? Um, I don't know. Um, but if you really like the scent, it did really give me these vibes. So yeah, Vanilla Waves, absolutely love it. Hope it comes back for those of you that love it too and um, don't have it in your club. So I get three of those. So those are kind of like the three core staple scents of why I have my club. And then again, like I mentioned earlier, the rest of the the bars that make up my club are just kind of like random things that I'll just try out. Um, maybe they were, you know, in the recent Bring Back My Bar. Maybe they were in the last season's collection and they're going away kind of thing. So, um, or maybe I just heard folks talking about it and, you know, loving it and just wanted to give it a try. So my first one is candy cane buttercream. So I heard a lot of people talking about this 
but I also recall folks saying that it was light and I would have to agree. I almost, yeah, I mean, I can tell, like I can smell, I mean, I'm assuming it's like the, their vanilla bean buttercream mixed with some sort of peppermint. I can smell like the, the buttercream note stronger than the peppermint, which is interesting. Um, I guess nice because, you know, then you get that buttercream really comes out and it's just not a straight peppermint because, you know, peppermint can take over a blend. I could see why this would be light, though. I'm going to warm it. And, you know, based on those comments, I'll probably warm it in this room in my office um, where it's a smaller room and closed room. So I can really get a take for it. But that's um, that's the first sort of like bar that I wanted to try. So put that there. And then the next one in that same vein, Peppermint Rush. And I think this was um, a bring back. I don't think it's focusing, guys. Trying different angles here. Um, Peppermint Rush. So I think that was a bring back my bar. So yeah, I mean, I definitely get the peppermint. Again, I wish I would have, I should have written down all the notes. But you know, I feel like you guys know. <laughs> if anybody, you guys know. Um, yeah, I mean, it's nice, but I don't feel like, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely warm it. Um, do I feel like I need it? Um, I'll have to give that assessment once I warm it, but, um, I feel like I could get this, you know, other places. Um, but it's nice. You know, I like it. I do like it. I'm, I'm a mint lover, love mint bakery. Um, you know, I just, you know, how we all go through those cycles. Like I'm kind of, um, just in general, I'm kind of one of those people that get hooked onto something and then I'm like uber focused on that one thing. It could be a food, it could be a song, it could be a scent, right? So um, yeah, so I'm you know into peppermint, so I tend to burn a lot of peppermint right now, but I, I really love it. Um, the other one is maraschino sugar cookie. I've had this in my club for a couple rounds now. I believe whenever they made that cutoff when they were taking it away, I think that's when I added it. Um, but I only have one of these and I really do like it. I'm not typically like a cherry lover. I don't dislike it, but it's not like, you know, in my top 10 or something like that. Favorite scents. But I love the maraschino note more than the black cherry note. I love the sweetness. I love that sugar cookie. Um, I don't remember this being, you know, super long lasting, but for the time that it's, you know, that I'm picking up the throw, I like it. I enjoy it. I think it's nice. So a way to switch things up every once in a while. And then the last one I have for you is crumb top. Now I know this was in the last bring back my bar and I feel like I heard a lot of people talking about it. Um, so again, seemed like something I would like, wanted to pick it up. I don't know you guys. I mean, I definitely can pick up a little bit of a cinnamon note. It kind of smells like, like, like the top of, um, like a coffee cake or one of those muffins with all the crumbly top on it. It's not uber strong. I can get a little bit cinnamon in the background, kind of like a buttery bakery note. We'll see. Again, I would have to warm it to see how it performs. It's not... It's nice. It's It doesn't smell super strong to me on cold. But again, as you all know, you have to warm it to really get, to really be the true test. I mean, it's it's okay. Um, But we'll see. Yeah, I'll give it a go. And if I think I think I, think I need it, I'll leave it in. Comment below, guys. What if you, if you have this and have warmed it? What do you think? Um, Okay, I said it wasn't gonna be long. That's 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 the Scentsy Club, right? It's it's pretty darn weeded out. Um, but again, I just I mean, I just don't need that that much wax. Um, I you know with other vendors with my own, like it's it just would be out of control and wasteful for me to have like a huge um, Scentsy Club at this point. Um, so that's that. Then the other part of the video that I wanted to share with you guys is a fun giveaway. So I was so busy with a work trip and working on the last RTS that I totally missed that I had hit 100 subscribers, which is really, really exciting because, you know, I have this little small channel 
um, just talking about wax, connecting with all of you, um, which has been totally, totally amazing, and I'm just so enjoying it, um, that I didn't even realize that I had hit the 100 subscribers, and I just, I don't know, I was on one day and just noticed it, and I was like, oh my gosh, well, I have to do something. So, last night, um, this is Monday, May 1st, so last night, on Sunday, I um, posted on Instagram um, at my business, my business Instagram, which is Second and Spruce Co. Um, I posted on um, the YouTube community tab um, under this channel. And then also I posted on my Facebook um, business page, a uh, private group. I have a public a business page on Facebook, but then I also have a private group because, you know, we're just growing our shop. I've been posting on both so that folks can see both. Um, and then, you know, maybe at some point as the, the private group um, grows a little bit more, then maybe I would, you know, just post certain things there. But for now, I'm posting on both. Um, so anyway, so I really want to do a giveaway to celebrate 100 subscribers. Um, I know in the grand, grand scheme of things, that might not be a lot, um, but I, I was really excited about it and I thought it was a big accomplishment for my little channel. Um, so anyway, so I wanted to share that excitement with all of you. Um, and so in order to um, enter the drawing, which will go through next Sunday, which is what, the 7th of May, and I said um, the cutoff will be 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Um, so in order to enter, all you have to do is like like the post, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then the third thing is just comment what blend you would love to create. Um, so what's what's something that you always wanted? Do you already have a favorite blend? Whatever the case may be, um, just comment with your favorite blend, and then if you win, if I have the oils, perhaps you know there'll be a little surprise for you. Um, so anyway, I'm really excited about it, guys. Thank you all so much for being here for helping me, you know, accomplish this goal. It's been so, so fun connecting with you all. I just really have been loving it, you know, so, so much. Um, so that's all I have for you guys. So I'll put the details in the description. Um, but otherwise, I will see you all in the next one. And good luck, everyone. Can't wait to um, pull the winner and, and, you know, have someone try my wax or try it again, uh, whatever the case may be. Um, and so, uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys this time. So we will see you all in the next one. Have a great week, everybody. Take care.